Watching starry night sky is one of the best thing to do. There are arbitrarily millions of billions of stars shining all over the sky. Some of them doesn't even exist. This means we are watching their past. We have made entire video on it, so don't forget to watch it after this video. Also there are some interesting phenomenon occur in this vast universe, supernova is one of them. But what is it? How does it occur? And will we survive if it happened near the earth? Let's explore it. Short answer, a supernova is the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. Each blast is the extremely bright, super powerful explosion of a star. For long answer, it's a complex fight between two forces. We will later explore it in this video. There are mainly two types of supernovas. One type of supernova is caused by the last hurrah of a dying massive star. This happens when a star at least five times the mass of our sun goes out with a fantastic bang. Massive stars burn huge amounts of nuclear fuel at their cores, or centers. This produces tons of energy, so the center gets very hot. Heat generates pressure, and the pressure created by a star's nuclear burning also keeps that star from collapsing. A star is in balance between two opposite forces. The star's gravity tries to squeeze the star into the smallest, tightest ball possible. But the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core creates strong outward pressure. This outward push resists the inward squeeze of gravity. When a massive star runs out of fuel, it cools off. This causes the pressure to drop. Gravity wins out, and the star suddenly collapses. Imagine something one million times the mass of Earth collapsing in 15 seconds. The collapse happens so quickly that it creates enormous shock waves that cause the outer part of the star to explode. Usually a very dense core is left behind, along with an expanding cloud of hot gas called a nebula. A supernova of a star more than about 10 times the size of our sun may leave behind the densest objects in the universe, black holes. We have also made a lots of stuff on black holes, so don't forget to explore them. A second type of supernova can happen in systems where two stars orbit one another and at least one of those stars is an Earth-sized white dwarf. A white dwarf is what's left after a star the size of our sun has run out of fuel. If one white dwarf collides with another or pulls too much matter from its nearby star, the white dwarf can explode. Kaboom! These spectacular events can be so bright that they outshine their entire galaxies for a few days or even months. They can be seen across the universe. Astronomers believe that about two or three supernovas occur each century in galaxies like our own Milky Way. Because the universe contains so many galaxies, astronomers observe a few hundred supernovas per year outside our galaxy. Space dust blocks our view of most of the supernovas within the Milky Way. Betelgeuse is the nearest red supergiant star to Earth. Someday it'll explode as a supernova. Whenever Betelgeuse does blow up, our planet Earth is too far away for this explosion to harm, much less destroy, life on Earth. Astrophysicists say we'd have to be within 50 light years of a supernova for it to harm us. Betelgeuse is nearly 10 times this distance. Instead, anyone alive on Earth when it happens will be treated to an amazingly beautiful sight in the night sky, a very, very, very bright star. That's it for now, I hope you learned something new today. To join this journey, explore the subscribe button and hit it. Let's explore all at one spot. Thank you.